Madeleine Albright's uh, description of the United States as the indispensable country uh, just comes home to me every single day. Uh, and, and, you know, because we are blessed with this powerful economy and because we have a military second to nobody on the planet and because we have the value system that we do have shared by many other people in the world, uh, we have a responsibility. And, and I think uh, it's a privilege to exercise that responsibility, but you have to do it with enormous sensitivity and judgment uh, and, and apply all the wisdom in the world you can find to do it properly. And we haven't, no, I mean, I'm sure we've made mistakes, but, but I think our intent and our, our, our purpose has always been um, the best, the highest sort of, you know, set of possibilities. I, I know some people are looking at the world and saying, oh my God, you know, the world order is coming apart and this and that. No, it isn't, folks. And it won't. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been around long enough to remember walking the streets of New York in 1964 when Lyndon Johnson won a landslide race against Barry Goldwater and everybody said the Republican Party is dead. Four years later, Richard Nixon was president of the United States. And then we had Watergate and we lost Nixon and then we've had, you know, and, and I went through the assassinations of President Kennedy, uh, Bobby Kennedy, Martin Luther King, Medgar Evers, all of this. This touched our generation. And so I've seen it bad. Um, the world we're living in today is filled with possibility and opportunity. Obviously, the new president has tapped into the anger, but has he seen the way in which this could be solved that doesn't undo your economic opportunities and that doesn't create more barriers and more turmoil. I'm not sure, we, we don't know the answer to that yet. But I would say to everybody that uh, there's enormous opportunity right now. We have some very clear challenges, the foremost of which to me, beyond the sort of immediate threat of a Kim Jong-un or finishing Dash and, and dealing with violent extremism, is to get underneath that violent extremism and deal with the I talked about this in Davos last year, the failed and failing states of the world, bad governance, corruption, 